Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. All right, some interesting trading in some of the Bitcoin series today. See big explosive move in Bitcoin Cash, moving up through the key levels, rising up beyond our, we were looking at this uh, 1944 to 1970, blowing through there and then coming back down to the rotation zone, rotating back up. Already put the next key levels on there. Right now, having some resistance at this 1056 GAN retracement level. See, it blew through there, came back to 37.5, then going to the 25, that's 1056. That's why we use these GAN levels. They really provide a nice harmonic trading range. So if we get above this 1056 level, we'll be watching for... This 1944 is now the end of the clear path right here. Let me mark that off. That's going to be key. Let me take one of these red lines that we don't need right now. So the end of the clear path is going to be right, right there. So that's going to be some resistance, 1944 to 1950. Then we'll be watching for, I mean, that's just below the 1970 level, so we don't need to talk about that. And then again, the, the silly round number thing, 2100 people park orders and do major transactions at these round numbers. That's why you do not ignore them. So above that, we have 2172, then a huge cluster area between 2221 and 2245. We have three key levels in there, then 2343 three to the upside. Now, if we cannot hold the upper end of the rotation zone, especially getting a move below the 1734, then we're going to watch for a return to about 1660. And if that does not hold, 1612 is going to be very, very key. We might spike down to 1612, but that's going to be a key level. That was a major uh, resistance area. Now it's become key support. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So here's our daily chart. Now let's line those up. So that 8 EMA on the daily, which is the top of the rotation zone, is essentially coming in at this 1537 and is going to keep rising. So it probably should rise to the 1612 level which is the really big breakout zone. So that's where we'll be watching this coming up. But this is the key support on the daily chart now. So let's see what happens, but we're just waiting for it to rotate back up a little stronger. Talking about a wild ride, Bitcoin gold blowing through some of our key levels. We were really watching this 312 level. It went right through there, stopping at this breakdown zone. So you had two breakdown zones here. This breakdown zone and this breakdown zone, which also lined up with the 25% GAN level. So you had a little cluster there, pretty much stopping there, coming back down really quick, then rallying back up, then coming back down. So tons of selling up here. These trend lines are now not going to do anything. This trend line, which has been in place for quite some time, is now going to get a redraw because this is our new defining point. Again, if you don't know what a defining point is for a trend line, check out our trend line videos. So what are we going to watch for now? This is off. We're going to really take a look. If this comes back up, we're going to start from the move that really started this explosive move for our next levels up. But right now, it's trading back at the rotation zone. Very key support coming in about 280 to 283. And you have the rising bottom of the rotation zone. So we really don't want to see it drop below that. We'd like to see it come back down here and rotate up back up. And then this is now going to be done with. And then if we rotate back up, the key things we're watching for now is a retest of 312 and then 336 levels. Now, if we go to new highs, remember there's this cluster still by the defining point. So now we have a defining point on the trend line, a breakdown level and a 25% gain retracement level all around this 346 area. So that's very key for moving stops or taking some profits. Then we go to 357, 368, and then we have another cluster right around this 377. But let's see what happens when it pulls back to this rotation zone, if we can get a turnaround around there. We also have the prior breakout zone coming right in here, this GAN level. So that's going to be key. Let's check in on the daily chart for this one also, Bitcoin Gold. Bitcoin Gold, now we finally got the first cross of the rotation zone. Okay, so this 
is going to be pulling up and on a daily chart the major level on here is going to be this 270 mark so really between 270 and 280 is going to be very key on the daily chart should we pull back even farther we'd like to see this pull up in the rotation zone catch on it and then move up finally original bitcoin moving averages now come flat we're in congestion and they keep testing this about 1600 to 1656 level is very key right now if we do get a close back into that then we're probably we're gonna have some minus order on this 15760 but the major level right now is going to come in about 15325 to 15154 it hasn't been able to sustain these up moves now it's starting to make lower highs descending highs so this looks like it really wants to pull back more nothing has changed on these upper levels uh this almost was a sloppy double top but this invalidated it became a triple top so we cannot use those levels and it's not a valid horizontal channel so we're gonna have to look at retracement levels and combined with the daily chart let's take a look at that daily chart right now and see what it looks like should we get this bigger pullback so that 15760 we got the eight rising just below that so the eight's coming in at about 15,500 just above that so the longer this waits the higher this gets so 15,500 to 15,760 is going to be key if it breaks below that the major support area right now is this 14,544 which would just return it to the middle of the rotation zone and we have a really strong cluster there and if that falls apart the next major area with the rise in 21 could be all the way down to this 13,336, although we have some 13,942 minor support in there. So know where your stops are should this pull back even more. Because again, on the weekly chart, let's see, the top of the rotation zone is all the way back down about 10,900. Theoretically, yes, it could drop down there. It will touch this rotation zone. Now, it could be a combination of it coming up and price coming back. We don't know where they'll meet, but do not be surprised. That's why you know where your stop levels are. So know what to do. Know what you're going to do. If you haven't taken any off the table yet in this really strong up move, like know what you're going to do. If we get this close below the 1600 level, are you then going to take some off the table and wait for that bigger pullback and watch then at these other key levels we've talked about for a move back up to re-add some of your position back on? Know how you're going to do it is part of your trading plan. Again, we can't just give out trading advice. I can talk about the levels and what we're watching for, but I don't know, again, how many coins you have, how your account size is, anything about your trading nature, if you're more of an investor or if you're more of a trader, an active trader. So that's why we just can't give out individual advice. It would be very irresponsible on any cryptos for us to do that. We're not here to say this is going to crash down to zero. We're not here to say it's going to a million. We're here to keep analyzing the charts, giving you levels, giving you sane trading advice, whether it's being the cryptocurrencies, whether it be in stocks, foreign exchange, commodities. This is the same kind of a analysis you're going to do in whatever market you follow or you should be doing in whatever market you're following and you guys are very smart we have a lot of subscribers now the channel is growing and you're learning how to apply a lot of these techniques so thanks again thanks for all the subscribers thanks for the comments thanks for the likes thanks for helping each other thank you very much for helping each other and answering each other's questions also that is wonderful that's why you leave comments, and we're all here to help everyone become a better trader. That's all I have for you right now. Talk to you later.